we're going to see a dramatic confrontation between my Nightline co-anchor Byron Pitts and a pastor accused of peddling a surprising kind of identity fraud. Why so many people are falling victim to this so-called synthetic identity fraud and how a man of God got mixed up in it. Here's Byron. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hey. Candy, my you girlfriend. Hey, nice right. to meet you. When you repair people's credit for a living, it's all about the personal connection. I'm going to ask you to leave my phone. But you really can't blame Donald Batiste for being in a bad mood on this night. He's just learned we've attended two of his sales meetings wearing hidden cameras. My service is all about helping people. Meetings in which he's alleged to have been selling a new type of identity fraud called synthetic identity fraud. The allegation, the suggestion that you're involved in synthetic fraud, okay. that you go to people who are desperate to have their credit restored. Everything that I do is legal. That is not how investigators see it. They say this kind of ID manipulation is against the law. Unlike typical ID fraud in which a thief steals someone's identity, Synthetic fraudsters help invent new identities. The fraudster uses one true piece of your identity and then combines it with fake information, so perhaps a different name. And most important, a different social security number. All put together to form this synthetic identity. And it's a growing problem. By some reports, synthetic fraud now accounts for 85% of all identity fraud in the country costing an estimated $2 billion every year. What's your email address? Batiste's small credit fix business, not alleged to be on that scale. Still from this unassuming storefront in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, formerly occupied by Driving Academy, Batiste seems to have reached all over the country using social media. We got on a conference call, and when I heard people chiming in from Chicago, Illinois, and Houston, Texas, and Memphis, Tennessee, and, you know, it was like, oh, man, this... This is the real deal. For Pastor Giles Foster and many other customers who say they had no idea what they were getting into, Batiste's most important credential, his Bible. <laughs> 24 years old, Batiste calls himself an apostle and says he has his own church in Baton Rouge. You know, that pretty much sealed the deal, the fact that there was another man of God and for Pastor Foster, who was struggling to get himself out of debt and this fledgling church in Cleveland, Ohio, on its feet, it all seemed like divine providence. He was talking about fresh start and get your credit together. To do that, Foster says Batiste advised him to keep his real name, but to get a new address. And then he sold him something like a new social security number. He was selling this nine-digit number, credit profile number. A CPN is a multi-digit number that looks very similar to a, a social security number. And it's what's uh, given to people by these uh, uh, credit card repair companies for them to go out and open up new accounts. Could it really be this easy? Yeah, there we go, I see it. Two of our producers headed to Baton Rouge, going undercover. This is the, uh, the button camera. So then this is our very discreet purse camera. Posing as customers to hear more about the process from the man himself. Hey, I'm Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. He laid out his method. So your purse now, do you know what's on your purse? Prayer? When last time you said? And listen to how Batiste describes those CPNs that seemed almost too good to be true. It's a nine-digit number that you get validated by the Social Security Administration. You use it almost like your social. You can only use it to like apply for credit cards. And he was all too happy to explain yeah, where he gets we actually, them. We build them. We uh, we go into the system. We apply for this uh, new credit profile to the Social Security Administration. Investigators tell us CPNs are often obtained by plugging in random nine-digit numbers into a government website or other validation site that we're not going to name here until a number is found that has not been issued. Batiste told us we could buy a CPN for $350. It sounded so good, but was it legal? It is 100% legal. You go to the, okay. the FBI to have Oh, really? Research. Some people say CPNs are illegal. Uh, the only reason why they say they're illegal is because a lot of people don't know how to use them. Mm. Turns out those people who say it's illegal, that would be the authorities. There is no legal use for a CPN. They are not issued by the Social Security Administration. And the Social Security Administration agreeing, saying, despite what many of these credit repair websites imply, CPNs are not legal. And remember this? And it's 100% legal. You go to the, uh, the FBI to have so we called the FBI as well. They say they also don't issue CPNs. 
The fraud works because authorities say some credit card companies rarely check to see if the CPN matches a person's name. The Electronic Transactions Association, a trade group made up of credit card issuing banks, says consumers that choose to place one of these CPNs on a credit application will be committing a federal crime. State and federal agencies are cracking down. In New Jersey, four people pled guilty to stealing $200 million using synthetic ID fraud. And in Indiana, over a dozen people pled guilty to selling CPNs, receiving sentences of up to 40 months. So we had, was really at a crossroads with the ministry, finances. Foster says he got the credit card using his new credit profile, but then Batiste offered him something even better. We were strapped, for, for lack of a better term. Batiste said he would get Foster a line of credit of up to a half million dollars. All he needed was another cash payment of $4,000. That trust was there. We trusted him. Hoping to finance a new church, he says he wired Batiste the cash. As soon as the money was gone, so was Batiste. Donald Batiste is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Lakeisha Wells, who didn't want her face shown, says the same thing happened to her after paying Batiste $1,800. If I was Donald Batiste, what would you say to me? I want my damn money back. So we decided Hello, to pay Batiste. Donald Batiste a visit at his office in Baton Rouge. Hello, Mr. Batiste. My name is Byron Petr from ABC News. We talked to police investigators who say what you're doing with credit privacy numbers is illegal. You, you don't do credit privacy numbers? I'm sorry. I, I have many gifts, Mr. Batiste, but, but, but lip reading isn't one of those. Would you mind opening the door so we, we can talk? Oh, he's turning the lights off. He apparently didn't want to talk. Mr. Batiste. After sitting in the dark in his office, he finally came out. There, there are people who told us that they gave you $1,500, $4,000 and never heard from you again. They're not telling the truth? No, they're not telling the truth. I'm still here. All my numbers are still the same. You said that you get these CPN numbers from Social Security. Is that correct? No. You told me that a few minutes ago, and certainly we have you on yeah, camera, I said, sir. I don't get them. We have agency that we use. And that agency gets those numbers from Social Security? Correct. And what agency is that, sir? Legal CPN. Legal CPN online company located in Michigan with the current F rating from the Better Business Bureau did not respond to multiple requests for comment. You say you get these numbers legally. Legally. But I'm telling you now, we've talked to Social Security and they say that's just not possible. They don't issue okay. CPN numbers. That's fine. So how do you explain that? That's fine. I don't have an explanation at all. Do you think it's legal? Do you think it's ethical? I'm asking that you leave my property. So it's such your belief that you were an honest businessman. Yeah, right. Batiste insists he's done nothing wrong. In fact, he has not been arrested or charged with fraud. But Foster's and Wells' complaint, along with hundreds of others, have been referred to state authorities. And for now, Donald Batiste appears to still be in business. It's been a long time coming. Back in Cleveland, Pastor Foster just closed on a new church three years after first investing with Batiste. What Donald Batiste meant for evil, God turned around and, and worked it for our good. For Nightline, I'm Byron Pitts in Baton Rouge, Louisiana.